Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're uh, playing the Chickasaw Muskogee Coalition right now. Oh, oh whoa, we're missing a lot of radios, aren't we? Yeah, quite a bit, but we're currently beating up the crap out of this after war band. We've lost 12 guys. We've killed off about eight, almost 2,000. So far, not bad. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of hanging out, trying to eventually core more territory here and whatnot. Uh, we're currently supporting the Salidity Dwellers, which we read the last time. Um, but we're looking for love. Of course, the visit turned out very different from what I expected, from what we both expected, I guess. Another night to remember, perhaps, too. Not every night that is worth remembering has to be as unpleasant as the one infamous one. This one was very opposite of that, so we'll see if like, like we got a little bit of romance in this episode, but romance on this channel? No romance for anybody. What are you talking about? Yeah, mistaken. A uh, new dish. The kitchen of the Ibofanga has got a new recipe of a dish called Cranberry Meatball Grinder from a caravan coming from the east. Well, the cook says the original recipe requires meat from something called a scorch piece. Nobody knows. Here has ever heard of it. Oh, yeah, it does taste pretty darn nice with just regular Brahmin meat. The first batch sold pretty well. We have, an ar we have arranged for the caravan of spots with all the necessary ingredients we don't have locally. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Wow. We're not doing well here, obviously, but they're really not doing well. Yeah, Force Defense was probably a big old mistake from on their side, but, you know, what else are we going to do at this point? Ooh, infantry is doing pretty good. Pretty darn good. Rooted, not bad. Strong back awareness, reconnaissance, survivalist, life giver. Yeah, I could use better infantry overall, but whatever. If you could hurry up and do that and take them out that faster, that would be great, but oh well. Ah, look at that. Very nice. Let's come over here, too more special forces. Actually, at this point, I want to make sure that we're all the same type of special forces because these riders are okay, but outriders are even better. Actually, can we throw on any riders? Oh, oh they're, mobile. they're considered mobile. Okay. If we can do that, that'd be great. Do that again? Yeah. One more time. We don't have enough armor to be good. Okay. Then. Uh, there you go. Do that. And then, boom, boom. And then, uh, there you go, dude. Let's run the city dwellers. Looking for love. And then, another night to remember. Well, <sighs> clown housing isn't bad. I like that a lot, but we're probably going to clean the skyscrapers. Even though the city dwellers live, as the name suggests, in the cities, very few of the pre-war skyscrapers and high rises are actually inhabited. This is due to the often dreadful state of especially their upper floors. 200 years of the elements of beating on those floors led to the missing walls, collapsed floors, and various other issues. If we just fix some of them, we'll open up a lot of space for further ventures. Absolutely. Special forces, huh? Enforcers, militia, ninja, idiot savant. Uh, that wouldn't be bad, maybe so less supply consumption is not bad necessarily. Super mutant attack, survivalist, or just recover faster. Yeah, life giver. I like life giver quite a bit. Wow. Um, armadillo. Armadillo. Well, it's very desperate, but you know what? I understand why they're doing it. Scavenger's found some vehicle take Nice. Very nice. Lots of political power. Almost do a day. It's very nice. I might as well just finish them off. There you go. Hey, we got him. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't planning the next invasion either. To Lubbock? Perhaps, yes. No, we go to demand tribute. Uh, no. We're good. Oh, hello. When did you take this? What, the barnacles? Hmm. We need more divisions. We need more manpower. Yeah, what the heck? Bruh. Like, brosif. Complicated circuitry. Research speed. Naval stuffs. Now we're trying to upgrade our research facilities or. Stuff like that, but that would be bad. Oh, uh, there you go. That's not bad. Can I get one more, maybe? Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, get some demo teams, get some extra tank, that'd be fine for now. 
won't be able to make any more, but that's okay. And we're out of manpower. God dang it. Looking for love. And we're gonna go to Wasted Militias. I arrived at the KX Double I station without any issues. About halfway there, we were greeted by a group of two pet guards, accompanying us the rest of the way. I expected the usual r rather raider look, honestly. Leather, metal spikes, and occasional skull or bone, of course. What I saw was the military gear of the overfine suits. It was different to say the least. The meeting took place in one of the record studios. I'd seen this place before on TV. It was where he hosts his talk show with various guests. I asked if he was recording the negotiation for his show, too. He just laughed and answered that he just felt the most comfortable in this place, and that's why he chose it. The tense negotiations were done incredibly quickly. We disagreed on some details, but came to an agreement in the span of half an hour. It came down to our investment money, our te their technical expertise, and established media a catalog. The rest of the evening that I thought I would spend arguing with the Raider Warlord putting on a civilized front was instead spent having a pleasant conversation over various topics. So meaningless, some in regards to both their situations, we drank a bit, laughed together, it was a really nice distraction from everything that's been going on recently. A very nice evening. Oh look! Too bad media, more political power and division recovery rate too. Looking for closure? Well, we can't do this one, so we're looking for closure. I think it's time to put the events of the night behind me. They will not be forgotten, but dwelling on them won't help me or my people. There are bigger things to consider. I must plan for the future, for all of us. Even more stability. Nice. What I would like, though, is more political. More, uh, political power and whatnot, but, uh, let's take a look. Let's see. Because I do want to do this one eventually. We need complete economic growth. A new old act. It appears that someone forever arrived a pre-war singer who was cryogenically frozen after 200 years on ice. She's taken to a new world. Oh, uh, surprising Gusto, saying she'll dance the night away. Good for us, uh, though, uh, though her love song set after a nuclear war is a little on the nose. I'll always remember us this way. Oh, I got a complete academic growth, so we can actually do that. That should be pretty good to do. So how much longer do we go to war with Lubbock? Oh, right now. Nice. Well, let's save just in case. As we do have a cup of tea here to keep us nice and warm, or at least satisfied. Not always warm, but sometimes satisfied. And maybe they'll just run into our line as much as they possibly can. Yeah, they will. Now, is that enough to hold the line? You know what? We're here. We're going to have a good time. We're going to do this. Get some planes here. We should probably research more plane stuff, too. Oh, man, they're forcing the attack. It's going to force you guys to learn as much as possible. Ooh, we went down by one. Not good. Twenty-seven versus 109. Very good, very good. It gives us time here, too. Hang out, have fun. Nice. Uh, sure. A bonus for, another bonus for land auction. That's not bad. And more research stuff. Previous commitments? Oh, we need way more money. Mr. Entertainment has made some previous deals with the Texan Brotherhood, which made the two bads fall under their control. The situation's changed, and I think it's time to make clear for everyone that we stand together. It might cost the coalition a fair bit to renege, renege on his contract with them, but so be it. Lost experience. America's biggest scrapyard, huh? No, we can't quite. Oh, we can't do that one. Dang it. Increase more money. We could do this one, but. Took some effort, but we finally managed to convince Council of Scrap Clan Chiefs to move out of the old oil tanker. We can now return it to its original use. Well, secondary use. Come join us and experience the rusty charm and industrial aspects of the Lost Experience. New casino of the coalition, and the compact gets some comp compensation of the deal, too. Connect the smaller settlements. While repairing the highways is well and good, not every settlement is conveniently placed along the, those arteries. A lot of smaller communities are often situated off the beaten track. We need to make sure these people don't fall through the grid by having clear, well protected roads to them so traders can reach them and supply them with what, what, whatever they may need. In economic growth, first people's junction is a place to buy and sell all kinds of things. Investing in its growth as a trade hub will benefit all members of the Federation. Did we lose yet? Oh man, we're about to. Oh, no, they, they took it. God dang it. Well, that's the case. Get down here, too. You'll be fine. In the end, it'll be fine. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much what I expected. You're not going to lose. So there's a firepower. Good plain stuff. Got off quite a few of them, and it's good for army XP too, so. So we'll be here for a while trying to do all this stuff. Manpower wise, I got two to three thousand. 
Oh, the 30 divisions. Um, stockpile stuff. They get a decent amount of stockpile stuff too, so that's okay. Let you guys leave first. Recover a little bit. Let the infantry deal with it for, for the most part for now. Um, anything else we really care about too much? Mobilize the people? No, not really. Linking for closure is good. Economic growth. Baited them. That would be good to do. 40 miles of bad road. Cab driver wants more down the street? Here's a thought. Public transport. Taxi cabs and buses. Our patrons have to get from their hotels to the casino somehow. Nobody really likes having arriving tired because they had to walk a long distance. That's true. Uh, so we're going to go with reclaim the skyscraper. Subdivide farm clans. Monthly manpower, 3%. Ah, clear the streets of rubble. Some more cities getting from point A to point B is a serious struggle due to the collapse of buildings and other various kinds of debris blocking streets and walkways. If we don't want people to make a short trip through the sewers, end up and down a three-story building, and slide down a zip line just to buy th food one street, street over, we need to do something about that. The Gold Travel Guide issued a rate review for hotel and services. The Travel Guide. Uh, praise all the you can eat buffet, the generous casino tables, and the wonderful gift shops we run. This will surely attract more business, although we didn't think ghouls ate. Eh, we'll charge them either way. Organize scavenging teams. Well, we'll probably do that one. A lot of pieces of machinery and vehicles in varying states of functionality just lying around our cities. Unused and unclaimed. We need to set out dedicated teams of scavengers and mechanics to comb everything over for anything we own that can be the repair to our purpose. And then we'll do this one. We'll dismantle all the bunkers. The bunkers in which people survived the Great War have stopped serving their purpose a long time ago. Some are kept around for sentimental reasons, as monuments are simply as our warehouses. But we need to look to the future instead of the past, and they'll serve as a way better use as a source of construction of materials and equipment than dusty mementos of a past long gone. Oh. Hello. We're all fighting them now. Interesting. Well, we better take whatever we can here, then. No, oh, we're running out of manpower as well. But what else is new? Now I'll see what we can take from these guys. And then kind of proceed from there. Heir to two empires. After being mostly absent from the public eye for a few months at this point, Lushan Yaharjo has appeared on the stage again. Quite literally, in this case, as Mr. Entertainment has seen fit to produce a special broadcast this night. The reason for this was clear is only a few minutes into the show, after a few short musical number by one of Mr. Entertainment's live bands, both of them walked in front of the camera, presented their newborn child to the cheering audience. Oh boy. The proud parents talked briefly about future plans concerning both nations before they retreated backstage again, wishing viewers and home audiences alike a pleasant evening and giving the stage to an ensemble of various live acts. I guess congratulations are in order. Air to, emp to empires. Monthly population. Weekly stability goes up by plus 1%. Now we're still struggling down here, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to dismantle all the bunkers um, against Lubbock, and they're fighting the Lone Star, which sucks, so how much we're actually going to be able to take is probably going to be very minuscule in the end, which really sucks. But, you know, there's not much we can really do about that. Um, in the meantime, long range radio, we got a lot of technology done. We're out of manpower, which sucks, because we need to core more stuff, but, you know, what else is new here? We got the political power for it, though, so we're just kind of waiting. Uh, let's see. I do want to get to a functioning mainframe. Old world knowledge. New world tactics. Conventional warfare. Well, we're done with that, so we must go with electronics. Old world knowledge. Amidst uh, boxes with dirty and water-stained papers that were entirely useless to us, we found a sealed metal box containing solid instructional information about how to build a lot of electronic equipment from scratch. Lucky find. So, are we mobilizing anymore? No, we're not, which sucks. Um, but, yeah, we spent a lot of money already. Compliance is it's just slowly going up. It's not doing great, but it's slowly going up as we've just been grinding here. 800 versus... It's not very good at all, because we've been stuck at this stupid juncture the entire time. Come on. Hurry up. Uh, are we missing anything? One horses a month, which is not much. We are using some of these guys here, too, for air support, so, like, this is taking so long, it's getting annoying. Like, this is really bad. Chain choir should be a little easier to take the that's fine. That'll actually make it permanent for us, which is pretty nice. So, doing this is just so grindy, it's not even freaking funny. Uh, which, like I said, really sucks. Uh, feature of the war of, from the past. Firearms. Energy weapons. Oh, I prefer f firearms. A lot of the more high-end weaponry of yesteryear is not sturdy enough to sustain the environment of the wasteland for a long period of time. We need to look back to more simple constructions that are easy to produce and maintain. A functional mainframe. Today, the biggest found we had in the process of dismantling the bunker was that the mainframe installed into it was fully functional. The power down. If we move all the important bits of a more accessible place and power it up, will be a big boon to... Uh, uh, everything that requires efficient data storage and processing like our research. There's even an evil AA running on it. Probably. New expansion. Now that we have multiple uh, stable backbone of infrastructure and economy, there are many up-and-coming entrepreneurs. We'll improve their metal in the world of business or in governmental positions. We can pick and choose from the best of them. Hmm. Monoplane attackers, huh? The big question, because we just finished a focus over here. Economic growth, as well as beta of the Federation. Our nation has grown closer and closer in recent times, and we've shown and danced around a particular topic for a while now. Should we jump over our own shadows and become one nation, one people? 
will make it a force to be reckoned with in, in the area. They're not only upsides to it. Even with their already close cooperation, it'll still be a while before the new nation will run as effective as the individual ones. And so might, might argue that some things that might make our people unique will get lost in the shuffle. Which way do we vote? Yay? Nay? One nation. Decisions will be made. One nation, one people. We'll be stronger. We'll be available. We'll look forward together in the future. Look at that. Now that's beautiful. Um, I don't want to deal with all of you guys, so I'll become bouncers. And delete half you guys. There you go. And when you make more, we'll make more. I'm not concerned. Nice. Um, you guys right there, maybe. A couple guys right there, maybe. Division or two. Ah, that's pretty much it. Nice. Research slot. Some more naval stuff. And we have actually 7,000 manpower. Look at that. Uh, I realized we weren't getting as much compliance because I forgot to get, put us away some pacification. I was on caravan guards the entire time. So that's why it took so ungodly long for everything. So these guys are killing each other, which is actually really nice for us. With that extra manpower, we're going to actually do this too. There you go. Cass, go, go there. There you go. Both of you do that. There you go. There you go. Should be pretty good. You train him. Chickasaw Muskogee Coalition. One nation. And after one nation, what are we going to do next? We could get the research slot, but at this point, whatever. New capital. Uh, let's do a new ruling body, maybe. Mm, whatever gets us to more, more cores, really. No, oh, maybe we don't get any more cores. We'll record them all. Did we record them all? No, we didn't. Well, whatever. A new ruling body. There are many different groups in the various governments before we merged. In addition to that, while they, not, they may not lead the government or nation anymore, the skill and experience of the other two previous leaders is invaluable to our newly found nation. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just waiting for these guys to all die and then we'll attack them. Ah. Nice. Monoplane attackers are very good. Need more army XP, though. Or just more uh, of this, too. I hope they have more room to grow. Also, we did get all these territories down here too, which is actually really surprising. We we're actually taking it from Lone Star. We took it from Lone Star, so pretty pretty decent if you ask me. Looking pretty good. Outriders, all those, all that stuff over there. Uh, we did do new assistance care package too. Oh, and we do we get more money? Hey, there we go. Now we get more money. Hopefully. We get a route to Lone Star, create route, yes. Yeah, that'd be nice. The same pressure is good. I'd like to promote the node eventually as well, but whatever. Mm, yeah, why not? Close out of this, because that's annoying. And yeah, they're almost done. They're almost done there. Well, so we finally become one nation. Finally. See if we don't get all the technology that they got as well. That would have been nice. But, slow evening. But we can finally start recording some things here. Should be very good for us. And there goes Painted Rock, which means it's time for us to move in ourselves. We should have absolute air superiority no matter what, so. No. Alright, green air, northern Oklahoma, even southern Oklahoma, not bad. Uh, 30 damage is not bad. Yeah, roughly 30, 20 to 30 on each side here, so. Looking pretty nice. The horses are moving in pretty quickly. It's awesome. Take that towel, you can cut them off completely. There you go. These guys are all going to die here around the stretch. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Here? Ah, uh, sure, why not? It's only cost 41. Oh, that's really nice. 41 is pretty good. It's going to take a while to get through there, but that's alright. You guys are going to struggle here a lot, but whatever. New capital. It really isn't necessary to move to the seat of our government to a new location, but you can't underestimate the symbolic value of having the center of a newly formed nation where many decades ago. We signed the document that led us to this point. We we'll see to improve the infrastructure and amenities in the area, though. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, well, you know what? We got time and space over here. Just go in. Like, literally, just go in. Special forces kids, too, huh? Hey, we got them. 
That was pretty easy. Pretty nice. Pretty good. What else are we missing? We need some fire teams as well. I don't think we I don't think we even researched that yet, no. There you go. You can do that one too. Stonks, nice. 45 automatics. More civvies, more millies, you know, all the good stuff. That's where we're going to be coring a lot of territory here. I'm building up a lot of stuff here, too. It's all necessary. Oh, that goes Ejercito Mexicano. Does Ejercito mean Mex army? Like, army Mexico? It sounds like it should. Do that, do that. Maybe to get the last lodge? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Just see what we're feeling in just a little bit here. And we'll do that. You five did really well. I'm going to have you guys just stay right there. You guys are doing really well too. You guys are right there. You guys are right there too. And... There we go. Anything else here? Request for loan. Well, we got nothing else to spare. You guys can do some of that. Not bad overall. Uh, it's going to take a little bit more time to get more compliance there. I'm wondering about... Everything else, though, like in terms of just getting this all done, new ruling body, sky's the limit. The Sandhope prowls the Cherokee's unmatched in the area, and nobody personifies this better than the Sandhope. A brilliant mind like his should not be wasted. Part of history. History should never be forgotten, regardless if it's the history of a place, person, thing. Many chalked have dedicated their life to the act of remembering. Nashoba was at the forefront of this movement for decades. He's been part of the history of the Choctaw itself, and he'll be part of the history of this new nation. I'll get rid of the Plains Commonwealth. Lone Star has been long dominating the trade in what used to be the Texas Commonwealth. It's hard to compete with them in their chosen arena, but what we can do is become the gateway, the middleman for trade between Texas and the Plains Commonwealth. Kansas City, the scavenger haven of Great Band. Junction City, everyone who wants to trade in that area will have to go through us, in the state of Sequoia. It turns out when they resettled the area, we more or less claimed all the territories of the state of Sequoia. United, a Native American government. That was proposed almost 300 years ago, but it never came to fruition. Better late than never, though, right? And here we are at everyone. We took out the South War Band by ourselves. Texas has formed. Uh, the Texan Arms Association is taking out well, mostly majority Mexican now. Uh, the Legion is not doing very well either. The NCR is doing very, very well for itself. The 80s are nice and thick. MacArthur has done a fantastic job. Cascadia is somewhat there. Uh, but that's pretty much the world as it is right now. Not looking good for... The Legion, I'd say. All good. Murphy's doing a good job. Crap ton of divisions, though. Manpower, they are. No one, they're losing their out. Uh, new Reno's doing pretty decent as well. Are they in the NCR? An old new act? There you go. Uh, no, they're by themselves. And 80s are... Oh, they're third part of the Legion. Oh, that's interesting. They have no manpower either. No one has manpower. We have a little bit. Not much, but, you know, a tiny bit. But, of course, the status quo, we're going to finish. We're not going to get previous commitments done, because you can never get enough money. Honestly, I think that... And the cap's cost is good. I think we, I don't know, maybe it should be either lower. We should be able to make more money somehow, some way, because right now, the amount of caps that we have is just, it's not enough to get up to that point. Unless you plan from the very beginning. But, I mean, you gotta use, and I used a lot of caps for, like, manpower and stuff, because we were struggling early on. So, I don't know, I think that could be adjusted maybe just a little bit, but maybe that's just my opinion. But, there you go, Status Quo. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a tremendous rest of your day.